Hello everyone. We are going to learn about an animation principle called follow through. This tutorial is mainly to introduce this principle to you. So, you can understand the principle and you will be familiar with it and will be able to use this understanding when you work on an animation project. So, let's start with the new file. Here, we can see squirrel character which is ready with us. Import it and place it on the center of the work area. Convert it into a graphic symbol and name it as squirrel. Reduce its alpha value so that it will be less visible while vectoring the tail portion on another layer. Follow through mainly applies to those parts which are attached to the body and will continue moving after the character has stopped. For example, tail, cloth or hair etc. It is usually as something goes past its resting point and then coming back to where it would normally be. Now, we are vectoring the tail As already studied in earlier assignments, the sub-selection tool is the best way to edit and match the vector according to the drawing. F7 to insert a new blank keyframe, we have to keep the onion skin option continuously on to view the traces of the created tail movement. Those can be referred as proper guide for further tail motion. Start drawing for another tail movement. In this follow through animation, there is going to be a specific cycle of the tail animation. That cycle can be kept in a loop while playing. You can see that as number of tail keys drawn. second key and here we start with third tail motion drawing on a new blank keyframe. Notice that every time we first match the exact base point where the tail is attached to the body.
rest of the drawing is done. Follow through is a fairly complex animation principle. So, you might need to practice this tutorial several times to understand the principle completely. After the third key, you can view some tail movement here. Let's start with new key number 4. On this key, tail is changing the direction of the movement. Third key was the extreme movement towards that direction. So, fourth keyframe onwards, the tail's curve will turn to the opposite direction. Similar snap, which is change of direction in the tail's curve, will also be created after the extreme left movement. At the same time, notice that between every keyframe, we have kept the gap of two frames. So, even if we call it as the fourth key, it is placed on the seventh frame of the layer. Fourth key is ready now and we can see more of the animation. Similarly, we need to add some more keys to complete the cycle.
Here we start with 8th key drawing and observe that on this key the tail is again changing the curve direction and turning towards upright direction. This will remain as pattern of tail motion cycle for loop animation. Key number 10 is supposed to be last key of the complete cycle. Even though we keep the onion skin on, still after each key checking the tail movement helps us in directing the next key motion. Just like it is done in traditional classical animation. And here we are done with the last key drawing too. Switch off the onion skin and play the complete cycle. We are really happy with the tail's wave movement. To watch the complete animation in loop, go to control menu, loop playback and click on it. Now just hit enter and enjoy the proper wagging tail in loop. This is what follow through is all about. One side of the tail is attached to the body and the rest of the tail is waving smoothly. If you add the body movement, tail will follow that movement. This is the basis of this principle. Especially while a character moves, everything does not start and stop at the same time. Follow through action consists of the reactions of the character after an action. So, finally, we are ready with the tail's follow through. Still, for the better catch, unlock the squirrel layer and step inside its symbol. We want to keep only vectored tail movement on the squirrel. So, to remove the sketched tail part, press Ctrl plus B to break the squirrel image and simply erase the sketched tail with eraser tool.
Step outside and watch the animated tail on the squirrel. The tail is playing in a loop. You can even bring back the alpha value of the squirrel to normal. So, you'll be able to see the character as well as the waving tail. Thank you for your attention. Keep your eyes open to learn much more animation stuff from Aroha Media. Till then, keep creating. Thank you.